Polylamory? No, polyamory. Hey folks, it's Finn. So, I have been sharing a lot on here and on my other social media about all the dating I'm doing, the different relationships I'm having, and with that, the question on everyone's lips at the moment is, Finn, are you now polyamorous? Good question. I don't know. Before I start this vlog, I want to say that I am not an expert on polyamory, so this vlog is not going to be about what that is. It's going to be my thoughts on what's happening for me right now. But basically, polyamory is like an open relationship where you can have more than one romantic or sexual partner at one time, but it's ethical in that all partners are aware that this is happening and those other partners might be having other relationships themselves. Sounds complicated, right? Well, that's why I would always have said no way would that happen. When I met the woman that started this sexual awakening of mine, I was attracted to her and then she shared with me that she was polyamorous and I was absolutely gutted because, you know, I've only been mono in monogamous relationships and the idea of sharing somebody with somebody else did not appeal to me. Now I've been cheated on in the past and it hurts like hell. And that's all I could imagine when we were talking about being polyamorous is having to deal with those huge feelings of jealousy and inadequacy and not feeling good enough and feeling like I couldn't fulfill someone's needs. And I just thought it would just be something I would not embrace. And now here I am seeing a few people. So why now is polyamory appealing to me? Well, I guess there are two main reasons for this. The first one is that what I've been doing in the last seven years in my recovery is spiritual awakening and becoming more conscious, more aware, more awake. Polyamory, surprisingly, ticks that box in being a very, very spiritually awake and spiritually evolved way of having relationships. I have been wanting to have the same spiritual development within a relationship as I have in my own personal life. Now, I have a history of codependency. Before my ex that I left a year ago, um, I was hugely codependent. And my first healthy relationship was with my ex, whereby rather than being codependent, we were interdependent, so we were separate people supporting each other on our individual journeys, not trying to own each other. But we weren't quite on the same page with that. I realise that now. So I'm very driven in whoever I end up with, whoever I date, whoever I see, I want to be somebody that's equally as driven in their own evolution and in taking that into a relationship as well that you know, constantly talking about what's happening in the relationship, sharing difficult feelings, evolving together, realising that each person is an individual and supporting that individual. And, you know, the way people just tend to lock each other down and want them not to change, I want to keep them themselves and own them. I want a relationship that's completely different to that. Strangely and shockingly to me, that is very evident in polyamorous relationships because it has to be. Because if you are going to have more than one partner, and if your partner is going to have more than one partner, then there has to be a lot of open, honest discussion, a lot of respect, a lot of consideration. And that really, really appeals to me. And the other reason polyamory is appealing to me is because of where I am in my life at the moment. Now, I'm just discovering my sexual self, my new body, my sexuality, that can't be done on my own. I can go to lots of cuddle parties and lay down and cuddle consensually with other people, but I need to explore intimacy with other people to develop further my understanding of myself. And yet that is in conflict to my morals because I'm a deeply loyal, loving, caring individual. And so the idea of just going out, having a kind of surface interaction with someone, bringing them home, having sex and not seeing them again, just does not appeal to me at all. So what do I do? <laughs> what else do I do? 
if I start dating, then there's the complication of like, okay, well, I'm dating you. Is it okay to date other people? And it just seems to be this big stalemate of like, I have all these feelings. If I was younger, I might feel better about running around and seeing the whole world. But at my age, I'm like, I don't, it doesn't feel right. I'm not saying it isn't right. But for me, it just feels against my morals to go running around sleeping with the whole world. However, when it's done from a standpoint of ethical non-monogamy, it becomes something completely different. Because if I am coming from a place of consciousness and the other person's coming from a place of consciousness as well, then it's completely different because then you can even have one night stands because if it's with another poly person and then you say you meet this poly person, you say, OK, I'm really interested in a one night with you. How do you feel? So you have this big dialogue beforehand. You decide if you're going to do it and then you do it. And then afterwards you discuss about how it went and and you part ways. And that's really healthy. And that fulfills my my morals. You know, that feels right in comparison to the other way, which could risk hurting people this way. People are open and honest and know what's going on. And this is why it's appealing. And and not just as an excuse to go around sleeping with the whole world. Being with other people that are, are ethically non-monogamous, polyamorous, open, whatever, means that there would be this, everything's on the table, we're discussing what we're doing, and that feels right. At the same time as this sexual paradigm is happening for me, so is a relationship paradigm been so indoctrinated to kind of see monogamy as the way to do it and that if you're seeing more than one person then you can't be deeply connected to that person then exploring all of these things I'm kind of going that isn't the case at all and I can see how actually polyamorous relationships arguably could be deeper than a monogamous relationship because of the amount of of effort that has to go into it the amount of care that has to go into it and I can see that just because you're seeing more than one person doesn't mean that either of those people are not good enough it's just different people you have different connections with why why are we saying that love can only be real if it's between two people and if it's between more than two then that can't be real that's then saying that love is limited and that if you give it to more than one person, it's spread so thinly that it's not a really deep, true, lasting love. Hang on. Isn't love limitless? I have suddenly become so much more aware of different shades of love, intimacy, attraction this is a little bit like when I got sober and all I knew was anxiety and sadness. And then as I got sober and I learnt more about myself, I learnt other words to describe my emotions. And this is kind of how I'm feeling about love since learning about ethical non-monogamy is all of the different shades of feelings for other people and how beautiful that is that in polyamory, different relationships can fulfill different aspects of these huge myriad of feelings from sensual feelings to erotic feelings and everything in between. I'm looking at monogamy now and seeing something so different. I'm seeing monogamy is really limiting love, actually, in that the monogamy framework kind of says that there are different types of love that you must give to different people in different ways. So these are friends. This is friendship love. This is family. This is family love. This is relationship. This is relationship love. And there's all these boxes and no room for love to flow in between. What is this? Who decided that, that love's this bounded and, and this limited? It's not, surely. What if instead love was just love? It's boundless it's infinite. You just have different levels of intimacy with different people. All of this has made me feel differently about my friendship. In fact, actually, I think this has been the most striking thing in re-looking at the way I feel about polyamory, in that I've fallen in love with my friends even more. It's like beforehand I was subconsciously going, these are friends. 
this is all you must do and <laughs> no more degree of touching or loving or whatever. And with these barriers being removed, all of a sudden I feel free to love my friends more deeply. And actually, I'm not against the idea of some friends sleeping with them if, if they want to do that too. You know, I was kind of joking about all this at Trans Pride, but it was a lovely space for me to explore not withdrawing from friends. I don't mean it in like a conscious withdrawing way, but the, the old way of kind of thinking, oh, I'm hugging a friend, this is an appropriate amount of hug, now move away. At Trans Pride, I was just basically saying to people, look, I'm exploring this whole idea now of just sharing the way I love, and if it doesn't feel right, then you can just say to me, okay, Finn, that's a bit too much. And it was lovely. All of my friends were really open to this, and there was so much hugging and stroking, and it was beautiful. And what's wrong with that if it's consensual? Now, this doesn't mean I'm going to suddenly be propositioning all of my friends, unless you want me to. It just means now that I'm not holding myself back and it's making such a difference in, even in my levels of anxiety and my social comfortability, because I think I'm such a deeply loving being. I love hugging. I love telling people how much they mean to me. Um, partly due to social <laughs> etiquette and partly due to the pressure of like, now I'm supposed to be all manly. Bugger to that. I think that knowing that I have to kind of put certain walls up between people because it's not appropriate to be like this for certain people was kind of limiting me. And, and now that that's gone, I, I feel a lot more relaxed in company because I'm feeling that I can just be with people. I don't know if this is making any sense. I hope so. This is also new, remember. So these are lots of thought bubbles that will likely change in time or make more sense in time. But I'm sharing it with you now because this is a new flowering of feeling around new ways of doing relationships, both intimate relationships and friend relationships. That's really blown my mind. <laughs> So, <laughs> that was a rather long ramble on, am I polyamorous? I clearly don't know. What I do know is that I want to do things differently. I'm reading a wonderful book called Rewriting the Rules by Meg John Barker, who's done a TED talk on this, and I'll put a link to it because it's fantastic. And Meg talks about embracing uncertainty rather than kind of saying, OK, monog monogamy isn't working for me anymore. I'm going to be polyamorous. I don't want to jump from one box to another. What I want to do is explore my own way of being because it's clear I've been shut off to, to lots of things because of what I've been told is right and wrong. And so I want to drop my old way of thinking and now begin to find my new way of thinking. So I'm not saying I'm polyamorous, but what I'm saying is I'm exploring the idea of doing things different to monogamy. And at the moment, I'm seeing some different people. I've no longer seeing the woman that actually started all this off. It just didn't pan out that way. But that's OK. You know, I will forever be grateful to her for opening up this incredible journey to me. And this is the thing that's wonderful about meeting people. It doesn't mean if relationships don't continue forever that they're not meaningful. You know, she will always be incredibly prominent in my life because of what she's given me, you know. So the whole saying about relationships are for a reason, a season or a lifetime. You know, that's so true, isn't it? We put so much emphasis on it must continue for the rest of my life to be real and meaningful, but actually it's not always like that. I'm seeing a couple at the moment. I'm part of a kind of triad. I don't know whether that's going to develop any further. We've had some amazing, exciting times together. I've just met this stunningly beautiful trans woman who is completely mesmerising and I'm going to go down and see her very soon and I can't wait see where that develops and at the moment I'm really really loving it I'm loving the fact that I'm having lots of different dates meeting lots of different types of people I'm being able to explore my gender my sexuality I will do a separate vlog on this because I have loads of new thoughts around my sexuality which completely blows out the water all the other stuff I used to think before all I know is I'm in such an exciting time at the moment and embracing this way of being makes complete sense right now for me and um, I look forward to sharing it with you as time goes on and as I say none of this is set in stone 
None of this is an explanation on polyamory. It's explanation on how I'm exploring it. So if you want to find out more about polyamory, ethical non-monogamy, open relationships, please do Google it because I am not a mine of information on this. I am just learning and I just wanted to share my new learning with you and I will continue to share as it all evolves. So yeah, hope that answers some of your questions. I would love to hear your thoughts, but please be gentle with me. Thanks for watching everybody. If you want to subscribe for more random thoughts about Finn's ever increasingly random life, then that'd be lovely. Thanks for watching everybody. See you soon. Bye bye.